I actually saw a couple of you guys saying the exact same thing I was thinking. It has been more than two weeks since we've hunted here on Emerald Coast, and you may hear that and think, alright, so what? But the map's like five weeks old, and it's a good map, like it's not New England Mountains, and if you like New England, no offense, but I don't. So, we need to spend time here, we can't just get all the diamonds and never come back, so we're gonna hunt some Bantang and Crocs. I think of the rares on this map, especially of the rares we don't have any for those species, they're the coolest, and we're gonna see if we can get some. What's up, Kflo? Reinhardt's in here, Angelic's in here, I saw Bottom Boy, Big Twister, I am hoping that the power and internets can survive this two hours. We had a reasonably significant thunderstorm earlier, and everything seemed to do okay, so hopefully it's through. How'd you get so much money? I've seen that you have like millions in your vids. It's mostly just a product of a lot of time played in the game. Uh, how do I bring that up? 6,547 hours. That That's mostly what does it, but... If you look at our kill total, we're at 63,000 kills, so it just adds up over time. I haven't done one particular thing to get a lot of money, it's just build up. An amazing Monday to this awesome clan. What's going on, man? Appreciate you stopping in. Hope you have a great Monday as well. So there is a Bantang zone here, and I think we've killed just about everything out of it, maybe other than that guy. So, we'll kill that guy, and if we visit here later, maybe we'll have a respawn. Does the farm not work? It's been giving me all kinds of issues. The server wouldn't work for a while, and then there was a game update in, I thought, in updating the server to match the game, it was going to be fine, and it still wouldn't run. So I don't know, I'll have to send in like a support ticket or something, because it's just... I hit start on the, like the, uh, dedicated server. It says it's up. I go to join. It's not there. I restart it. Go to join. Not there. So I don't, I don't know what the deal is. Is there an animal you don't have a diamond for? There are two at the moment. Bobcats over on New England Mountains and Eurasian Widgeon on Verhunga. Both are just not fun stream things, to be 100% honest. Bobcats, you pretty much have to hunt at night, which to be fair, we're kind of hunting like Bantang and Crocs in the late evening slash night, but they're so big, it doesn't really end up mattering. Like, we're still able to see them pretty well. And then Widgeon is just like, it's such a shot in the dark. Unless we're sitting there actually in a blind with decoys, the odds of actually finding a diamond widget aren't that great. And the blind and decoys thing, it's tough to make a stream interesting when you're just sitting in one place. Level 4 Bantang make diamond a lot, just a heads up. You know, I'm surprised we actually don't have one. I've got the one level 5 diamond, no level 4 diamonds. What's going on, Danny? Ticket Moon Plains early access. Ah, uh, that might be happening. Might be some Ticket Moon Plains early access content coming this week. I may or may not be extremely excited for that. There's a big male. So I need to get better at, like, neck-shotting these guys, because I was watching Kyla's stream. What was I doing? I was getting groceries or something the one day, and Kyla was streaming, and she was just shooting them all in the neck, and I realized I'm just bad for shooting them in the lungs and letting them run off. Crown of Red Deer had three legendaries at one at Drink Spot, one troll, and two diamond. That's insane, man. I'm trying to think of the most max levels I've ever seen in one spot, and I think it's two, grinding or otherwise gonna be away when it releases well the good news is with uh you know something like way the hunter i think everything stays kind of fresh for longer there's a whiff on the next shot already like five stars and stuff i i really don't mean to compare it to call of the wild but i don't feel like there's a like huge influx of trophies in way the hunter in the same way that call of the wild does partially because of the size of the community I've killed multiple level 4 Bantang and have not gotten one. It's funny the way that works, like, it seems like some people get- I've seen several videos with multiple Diamond Bantang in the same herd, even multiple 5s, but usually multiple 4s. We just stream it on YouTube, uh, Way the Hunter Early Access? I think that's the plan. I haven't, like, uh, you know, ironed out exactly what I want to do with that yet, but probably gonna do at least one YouTube stream and a bunch of videos. Do you like Call of the Wild OG, oh, or Way the Hunter best? It's a tough question to answer. I think generally I like uh, Call of the Wild more, but Way the Hunter's like, is that challenging aspect, especially when you get into the off season. Like, I think it's gonna be, what, seven weeks? Our real life hunting season opens here in PA. It'll be a little sooner than that for me because we're going to Kentucky middle of September. Actually just booked the place that we're staying at yesterday for that. 
So basically that hunt's officially happening now. And the closer I get to real life hunting season, the more I want to imitate real hunting in games. So that's why I've suddenly gotten into Way the Hunter. We've seen, you know, a bunch of five stars on Transylvania. We've had the albino red deer show up. We killed our melanistic mule deer. Those sorts of things are happening at this moment for that specific reason. Like I'm really looking for that challenge and missing like the real life challenge. Where's pizza? I didn't see pizza. Booked. What's going on, Ender? Doing good, man. How about you? I know Shadow. By the way, she was sitting up here at the start of the stream, jumped down less than a minute ago, and then cries to get back up. <laughs> That's what life is with Shadow all the time. There's a tornado watch? Yeah, till 9 p.m. or something? Fear not, the rental car that I have is parked in the garage. Everybody that knows what happened to my truck knows why I said that. <laughs> Ticket Moon Plane's gonna be so amazing. I really expect it to be really good. There's some Bantang. Kind of wide. Three. Four. There's one more male in there, but he doesn't look big. And this is what happens. Crocs kind of spook him, so we're gonna yeet a long shot. Ooh, that was a little back, I think. Eh, big whiff. Okay. That's a male there, too. Well, we'll see what happens. He's a very light-colored male. Level 4 aggressive. It looks like we got him. What's up, Bree? The garage gonna collapse this time? Listen, it wouldn't entirely shock me. By the way, I put the rental car in the garage. It fits with, like... There's a couple things against the back wall. So, let's say those things work there. It maybe has two feet of clearance. I don't think my truck ever could have fit in the garage. Do you know when early access will come out? Um, I do, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure I'm allowed to say. Obviously before release on Friday, so... You can assume from that it's this week. Naturally, Jazzy gets the garage for her car. Well, you know, trucks are cheaper to replace, you know? <laughs> Getting ready for my final seven days at the old job. Nice. Uh, Tixotic Games? I believe we've gone over this before. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Thank you for the super chat. Love the content from Wales. Well, thank you, man. And I appreciate you stopping in, and I appreciate the support as well. Thank you, man. Should do a croc hunt with a compound. We could bring a bow for this. Maybe we shoot the aggressive crocs with a bow? I need to go back and get the night vision binoculars, so... We can totally grab the bow while we do that. Dream multi mounting Call of the Wild? That's a good question. Dream multi mounting Call of the Wild. Um... Well, I'd love to have a, like, say, leucistic Diamond Cape Buffalo, and then I guess we'll just go Super Rare Lion in that mount, too, because if it's my dream mount, can make it whatever we want, right? And then two rare female lions? We've got similar to that. We have a mythical albino Cape Buffalo in there. Uh, lion's obviously not a super rare, but it's a big diamond. He was max weight. And then one rare female line at the moment. Or do we have two there? No, we have two. Blonde and dark brown, I think. Couple of decent bean tang to get us started. I shall return. Sounds good, Mel. You're a rare female line? Thank you. Are you saying I'm like... Unlike anything else and extremely special and everybody wants me? I bet that's not what you're saying. That one looks big. Didn't see that guy. Are they all gonna spook? That's okay. I'm not gonna try to get too crazy like grinding these things or anything like that. We're gonna be more laid back than that. Where on the map? Let me open that up in just a second. Random crocs that are very small. All right, so very specific position is like the south part of the coast over here, but this entire thing is great for Bantang and crocs. Wait a minute. What's it? Is this another herd? What happened? I'm guessing that's gotta be the case. That was weird. I didn't see them there two seconds ago. Did they fix your truck? It sounds like they're totaling it, so I will be in the market for a new truck pretty soon. The only thing is, they're, as insurance tends to do, they're being less than speedy about, like, you know, letting me know that it's officially totaled and then obviously sending the check 
to replace it. What are the specs on your PC? I think we have a command for that. I'm a rare one star mature, people like to see me, but sad at how small I am. <laughs> The Mutrix Flay and Truck 2024? I should get, like, some kind of sponsorship and just have logos all over my truck. Hey, there's foxes down here. I forgot about that. Why does my Call of the Wild keep crashing? Are you, well, surely you're on PC if you're asking that. Any chance you have, like, a graphics driver update? What's diamond for them? 137. Okay, not bad. Decent weight as well. Any tips for a new content creator? Well, the main thing I always say is to create content that you would want to watch. So like for example, when I got into making content, of course this was back on the Hunter Classic, I watched a lot of like Let's Players and obviously, you know, playing other games. Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, people like that. There was no one doing like daily or even Let's Play style content in the Hunter. And it was something that I wish there was, so like I started doing that. That's a pretty good way to ensure like you're going to, you know, have passion for the content you're creating. And that's more important really than making the content that you would want to watch. And the reason is, if you are passionate about what you're making and interested in what you're doing, the audience is going to see that. And that makes a far bigger difference than any trophies you might shoot in the video or, you know, any fancy thumbnail or anything like that. because. If you're d doing things only for views, that's so transparent and like your audience will pick up on that. So you want to do things that like you're going to be interested in, that you're going to be passionate about. Audiences pick up on that and they stick around for it. Nailed. <laughs> Who's ready for the season? Am I ready for the season? I'll tell you what, I have been shooting my veracity dart and bow that uh i have this year if you haven't seen it there's a short on this channel with it it's red white and blue i absolutely love it that thing is probably the best shooting bow i've ever had i've been doing a decent bit of like longer range shooting and when i say longer range i don't mean 100 yards like 50 and 60 yards just for practice because i'm never going to shoot a deer further than maybe like 40 would be pushing it however you practice out the 60 and those 30 40 yard shots are easy I feel like, you know, if there wasn't the risk of the deer moving at 50 or 60 yards, this is the first bow I've ever had where I'd be like, yeah, I think I could kill a deer at 60. It's been that consistent. Super Bowl predictions. Speaking of that, I'll have to get into the potential third channel thing in a moment. Who did I pick? Somebody asked me this recently. I try to stick with the same choices. I think I picked 49ers and Chiefs, though, because I couldn't, I couldn't choose the team out of the AFC. You should only shoot deer at 12 yards. Most of the deer I've shot have been pretty close. As much as I've, you know, started to have success with the bow in the last, like, five years. How far back is it, really? 2016. I guess that's, yeah, seven years. I don't know how many deer I've shot with bows now, but it's maybe 15 or so. I have not shot one more than, like, 24 yards. It's always been close. Freedom Flinger 12.0 even. Did you link it? Or... Did you link that or... Well you said Freedom Flinger 2.0 so I'm curious. <gasps> okay. I didn't see it so I was wondering. Did you hit a deer with your truck? No, a tree fell on it. I feel so stupid saying that but that's what happened. <laughs> Farther shots only 18? Hey, you know like... On one hand... I say that and I feel like maybe I'm not as good an archery hunter as I think I am, but most of archery hunting isn't how far you can shoot a deer, it's how close you can get a deer to, you know, give you a shot without spooking it. I was only seeing spikes all summer, but last week I walked around my cornfield and saw three massive bucks. Good deal, man. We just had a picture of what I thought was our main target buck. My brother says it's a different one, so I guess he hasn't shown up yet, but there's a bunch of pretty good deer around. We still haven't seen the one deer that I'm hoping for. And actually here at my property there's been a few decent ones. How do you like get these next shots lined up? None of these things are even giving me a chance for it. 
Uh, Trizzy, thank you for the super chat. What is your dream DLC in Call of the Wild? That's a good question. Okay, so... Let me... This isn't my dream DLC, but... With Classic doing this recently, I want to touch on this as well. They've done some creator skins. So, basically, I think there's probably close to 15 creators. I know it's like myself, Tree Kiwi, Mel, um, Pro XDK's in there, KC. A whole bunch of, like, Classic players now have a weapon with, like, a specific skin. So... The whole story of that? Did we just brainshot that thing on the move? Eh, for once it actually was like the thing I was trying to do. Anyway. Those weapons can be won in competitions that the creators have actually made. Or you'll be able to purchase them in the store. So, I really want Call of the Wild to do something like that as well. I think it'll be really cool and I do think a lot of people would like it. Dream DLC though? I think a long range pack. Give me, like, a spotting scope, a gun that can zero out to 400 yards, I don't even care, or 400 meters, I don't even care what the gun is, and maybe a rifle scope that goes up to, like, 24 power? I think that'd be cool. Hopefully the Blade of 9 turns into the Blade of 12. So, he's, hey, we shot that one. He's, uh, eight and a half years old, and I would say it would be reasonably likely to expect that he actually you know, loses some size. But at the same time, when you get deer in that age class, they do sometimes start to grow some abnormals, and I am casually holding out hope that he actually somehow ends up with drop tines and stuff. These guys just never quit. We really need to grab that bow. Not so good that time. Fishing Pro, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate the support, man. When does early access for Ticket Moon Planes start? I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say, so I won't. I typically, like, when there's early access things, you'll get, like, an email from the developers or whoever do it, and they tell you all the information that you're allowed to say, and I didn't see that, so I'm not going to say it. It's this week, obviously, because the map releases this week. Uh, Trizzy, thank you for the super chat as well. What did I spot that said five? Is it a... Is it a croc? They announce when it's releasing? Or when early access is? Okay, so it's Wednesday. Now I can tell you. 9 a.m. So there's probably going to be... No, it's not 9 a.m. Eastern? Eastern? I think it's 11 Eastern. I'm almost sure it's 11 Eastern. It was a croc? Okay. So anyway, there's probably going to be a video first thing, a stream not long after that, and then another video later in the day? And more videos throughout the weekend. Oh, anyway, Trizzy, thank you for the super chat. Did you ever think your skin would be in Classic? No. Um, it was something I always thought would be cool, like, in some way, shape, or form to, like, be in the game or, like, have an item in the game or whatever, but I didn't think it would be something that would happen. So it's been really cool, like, super humbling. It's been awesome to see, like, the excitement over it, and I'm really curious to see what the competition participation will be, like, people trying to win it. Hopefully good. I think after this one, we're going to go get the bow and knife in your binos. What do you play on? PC. Would you rather kill a 160-inch buck you've been chasing for years or a 180 that you've never seen before? Well, I've done the 180 I've never seen before, and that was cool. But I would frankly rather kill like a 130 I've been chasing for years. I know like for certain. If I ever do get to shoot the blade at night, it'll be more special for me than my 180. As cool as that was. Weather in PA is horrible right now. It's been something, man. All summer's been pretty whack. Just everything is level 5. How nice. <laughs> nice, Alpha Blue. I'd say our hunting pressure everywhere on the map other than here should be cleared. We're not, like, deleting zones either. It's working good. Average number of views for YouTube Shorts? It so depends. The algorithm for YouTube Shorts seems really odd. Like, for one, I find that over time, they'll get recommended more and, like, continue to amass viewership longer than a typical video. Most typical videos still get recommended too, and they'll like continue to grow over time, but less so than shorts. 
but it is dependent on the size of the channel, it's dependent on like the topic and stuff. I find that most shorts, even on like my clip channel, if I upload them they'll get maybe a thousand views in 24 hours and then slowly tick up from there. But it's so, so dependent on all those factors. What time are you hunting in? At the moment it's like 1900. I guess maybe we'll peek up around this corner before we change the time and go get night vision stuff. Can't wait for Tickle Moon Plains. Way more excited than I was for Aurora Shores. I think it's going to be a blast. And like the species lineup they've gone for, what we've seen in the trailer and stuff, everything looks so cool. Like I really can't wait. Next map other than African Wave Hunter. Ooh. So I assume they would kind of go with the same approach and do something like completely different than anything they've had so far. Let's see. What would make sense? I'm going to use Call of the Wild's world map as a crutch. Maybe something like Siberia, actually? They would probably be accused of copying Call of the Wild if they did it. I'm sure they're acutely aware of stuff like that. Because, you know, you gotta pay attention to what your audience thinks. <sighs> Excuse you, I'm trying to shoot a thing. <sighs> I Get out of here. Anyway. As far as, like, trying to come up with something that's entirely different than anything else currently in the game, Siberia or a snow map of some kind. How about that? Maybe, like, Greenland. Uh, Wandre, I, I know I asked this before, too. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. If not, feel free to correct me. Think of the Super Chat. I think Cape Eland would be great on Varanga. I've wanted Eland of some kind in the game for a long time. They're so cool. Like, I think it would be a great species to add. Could see with the hunter doing a Florida slash Louisiana map? Maybe. They're... Small game stuff typically isn't as good as their big game. Like, models, animations, the whole thing. Waterfowl especially. The waterfowl hunting in Way the Hunter is more like, hey, there's a five-star flying through the sky. For me, anyway. Well, I have a 270. I guess I'm going to shoot it with that. <laughs> like, the calling and all that stuff just isn't very realistic. That could be a next step for them, though. Maybe if they do a map like that, they could also implement, you know, those new mechanics. Raining good here now? We're, we're getting like a little bit of rain here. What's going on, by the way? Winters, hope you're doing well. Pumpkins are loving all the rain. What do we need? We need not that. Could use that, but not that. Uh, uh, what am I looking for? There were two things, right? Oh yeah, we're switching to a bow as well. So let's ditch the 30-06, and I'm sure we'll need that immediately upon getting rid of it. We really need, like, weapon sorting. Should we use the... Nah, let's just use a bow where I'm going to actually be able to shoot it. <laughs> the more they get away, the more I'll be annoyed by that. So, grab some tracers. Where are they? There they are. They don't show up as well when the fletchings and the knocks are the same color. Hey, we'll just start from here. If we run into stuff on the way, we'll shoot that too. Favorite documentary? Ooh. Is the quarterback series on Netflix a documentary? Because <sighs> that's like the most recent thing I've watched. Well, you look like a piss ant. Thank you, Paul. It's really kind of you. Best spot for Bantang, honestly, during their drink time, the whole coast. It's loaded with Bantang. Kyle's going to be selling pumpkin seeds this winter. Probably whole pumpkins, the way things are looking. What's up, Blackie? Doing good, man. Almost was doing much less good. Actually, I'll just tell the whole weekend story. Because it's really relevant to explain why I was so annoyed by this. So, um... My brother's getting married this weekend. And the wedding gift that we got them from their registry was like a big, fancy, um... Like what? Dinnerware? Plates? Bowls? The whole thing. And it's, I, I don't know why, but the registry wanted to ship it to us instead of them, so it's here. And he wanted to come pick it up today on his way home from work. So 
So I was carrying it over to the garage to set it there. And my phone like fell out of my pocket, I guess. And just into some like ground cover and I couldn't find it. And thank goodness Kyla was able to find it. Otherwise I would have been big annoyed going into the stream. But the real reason is Saturday, I was mowing my grass. I was doing my thing. It rains every 15 minutes here for the last like month. And I think it might have even rained a little bit Saturday morning. But the rain quit. I figured, all right, I'm going to get this grass mowed. Probably mowed for like two hours. And I was, there's a lot of like small hills and stuff. And if you have just the tiniest bit. Oh, okay. Someone out here anonymously doing Twitch sound alerts. Hell. Hell rude. I wish I could get him to show up on YouTube. At least there'd be a reason for that. So anyway, just doing the grass. It's on my little hill. And the mower got like stuck. It didn't want to scoot back up over. And in my attempt to like pull it free, it actually went down over like a steep bank, probably like 30 feet. I was like, cool. You know, if I had a truck, I'd pull that out. My truck got crushed by a tree two weeks ago, so I can't issues. do that. It is a skill issue. And it ended up working out well because, like, my dad came up, pulled it out. He also brought, like, hot dogs and sweet corn and did them on the charcoal grill while I finished mowing the grass. But anyway, had I had tree fall on truck, mower go down over bank, and lost my phone in a couple weeks, I'd have been pretty big annoyed. Because it's pouring rain. Like, had that thing been out, stuck out there all stream, lost in that ground cover, it would have been ruined. Sneak attack? It is indeed. I love that Twitch alerts still show up on YouTube. I don't understand why, because I don't have the source active. How do we get down from here? What a mistake we've made. <laughs> I think we're going to have to run. It's going to be easier to go from here and down. So that T-Rex might have been my problem. Your problem or your fault? That sounds like two different things. Because it was my problem. My ears definitely think okay, it was my problem. But what if you died? I could have. I wasn't on the mower when it went over that steep bank. Otherwise, who knows? Type of mower do you have? It's a uh, Husqvarna something, 48 inch mower deck. It's pretty nice, you know, fairly new. Also, I'm fairly confident, just also fun little side note about going over that steep bank. I had a hold of the back of it, like I was trying to sort of pull it, and I just want, I want to make clear, it was basically sitting on the level, it was just a little bit slick there, and it was like it wasn't even down over the hill it was just like a little bit the tiniest little I'm talking like the downside of this tiny little thing we're on like it would have been sitting right here level of steep it was not steep it was just a little bit slick and the mower didn't want to go so when I tried to like pull it backwards I was still hanging on to it when it started down over I legit went for like a 30 foot ride just sliding on my butt hanging onto the back of the mower trying to slow it down but it's still, something got screwed up with the pedals. Because when I was mowing along the creek, all of a sudden I wasn't, because I think I had to adjust the height of the deck, and all of a sudden it just went. Like it tried to yeet itself into the creek after that. It was like it was possessed. All I was streaming, yeah, true, Kyla was live and I was out there risking my life trying to save the mower. Where do you live? Brazil? Yeah. What type of fish are in PA? Uh, I mean, it, basically everything in North America, but a couple of things we don't tend to have, like... I don't know if there's anywhere in PA that has cutthroats, for instance. There might be a stream that stocks them somewhere. Freshwater fish, obviously. We don't have saltwater. But, as far as native fish go, brook trout are the only, like, native trout we have. Probably, like, lots of minnows or creek chubs, things of that nature. Bass? I think they're native here? They might not be native, but there's so many wild ones. Like trout, for instance, rainbow trout, brown trout, and brook trout too, but again, they're native, so they're here to begin with. They're all stocked every year, so there's like a multitude of them. There's probably places where bass are stocked, but they do so well, like, they're just basically wild everywhere. Shot a 9 legendary kangaroo today, but he was a troll by one point. That might be the closest troll kangaroo I've ever heard of. Like, they don't tend to troll by little. It's either, you know, troll by 30 or miss diamond. 
Does PA have a lot of catfish? Depends on where you go. There's places with lots of them. The Allegheny River, for instance, has quite a few catfish in it. Big ones, too. If I were to give 30 minutes, no sides, would you do it? I don't have the stuff set up to, like, put the timer and stuff on screen, unfortunately. Do you think all the while have another or remade Africa map? I think we'll see another Africa map eventually, but the way that Jaxie phrased it on their stream, I don't expect to see that anytime soon. Have you ever come to Destin, Florida for a fishing trip on a charter boat? Sounds intriguing to me. I don't know if and when we'd ever go to Florida, though. If it ever happens, I'll keep that in mind. Did you notice when you hit level 69 and called the lot it said nice? I did that. <laughs> I wanted to see people's reaction. A lot of people thought it was funny, so I was glad I did it. But yeah, um, I tried to match the animation. I was able to color match it. And then, like, I tried the size match. It was actually a little bit off. But yeah, that was me. How to become a member? I think the super chat button. I actually don't even know. Uh, what's up, Fins? Just showing what I miss. A uh, bunch of shoes and nothing particularly special so far. Bryce, thanks for the 11 months. One month away from the Big 12. Welcome back. Howdy, my flantro. I'm thinking that's supposed to be Mr., but I can be your flantro today. <laughs> oh no, I'm 30 minutes late. It's all good. Hopefully we're just getting into the, the good part. We just... Did I forget to grab the night vision binos? I think I did. Oh, I got him. Huge brain. Okay. And then... Got the bow. So charging crocs are going to get an arrow. Bantang will continue to get a 338 round. And we'll see what this does. Definitely meant mister. It is close enough. You thought it was legit in the game? It would be hilarious if they did that. What is the best map? I mean, it's such like a, a matter of personal preference. I think we can get this on the realm of the bow, actually. No, I can't shoot you standing. That's cheating. Oh, what a shot. That looks like we hit it in the butt and it's vital blood. Huge skill. Where on the map are you? Let me claim this little fella. What a shot. Crazy he didn't drop from that. I thought I heard you like... I don't know. Gasp as if you shot a big male? Oh. Off work for the rest of the day, so I'm gonna stay on the stream. Sounds good, man. Appreciate you. Should be at least action-packed hunting these species. How many points does it take for a diamond red deer? Like, score-wise? Um, what is it now? They changed it a little bit. It's 251 and change. The bow hunting is making me excited for Way the Hunter later this week. I really think that could be a game changer in Way the Hunter. Because they've already made changes. For instance, if you go back and watch our five-star road deer video on Transylvania, we shot the five star. The rest of the herd didn't spook. That could be massive. Like you think of the ability to take out multiple low fitness males from your herds at a time with a bow. Like there's legitimate incentive to carry a bow. And this happens every time, but I always end up comparing Call of the Wild to Way the Hunter and I don't intend to, but there's next to no incentive to carry a bow in Call of the Wild. It's other than maybe doing this, it's typically counterproductive, you're going to kill less animals and stuff using it. Way the Hunter, it gives you an actual advantage. In Classic, it gives you an actual advantage. I'm really happy to see that. We have huge male crocs out here. We need to kill more of these things and get some respawns. Favorite great one, Black Bear Fur. That's a good question. I actually like... I can't... Is it... Um, spirit? The one is like white fur and the brown head. Are either of those shots good? This is what real hunters do, right? What is the best map? Oh yeah, I was answering that and then that Bantang got there. Um, 
So it's so like dependent on what you want to hunt, but I think removing that aspect of it, Reventui is a really good map. Uh, Verhunka Savannah is a great map. I'm a big fan of Leighton Lakes, although it's an older one and it's a base game, so I'm kind of guessing you're asking about DLCs. What else would be on that list? Emerald Coast, I think, is really good, too. I think that'd be my list of, like, best maps in the game right now. How come they flee more when we have the bow? Are you in Potter County? I am not. And just like that, we're the north end. So Bantang do drink along here. Though, it's really tough to find him because of the crocs. So we might jump around to a couple of lakes. I don't think Bantang are here, but we'll look. Why do people kill great ones with bows other than guns? And other guns other than rifles? I think there's a multitude of different reasons. The, the main purpose behind me using a bow any time I shoot a great one is specifically because it requires me to get close. So what I don't want to happen is a great one spawns and that moment lasts for like 30 seconds then I shoot at 150 meters with the 30-06. Like, I want it to be something where I appreciate the moment for at least a little bit. And having a bow and like choosing to use a bow basically requires you to do that. As for, you know, everyone else, I can't speak for anyone else. I think some of it's like a challenge thing. I think some people like to, you know, make it a risky endeavor. I think that's a side of it too. Shot a level three Melamoose, is that good? I mean, any rare of any kind is typically good. What's gonna be your first five star in Taking Me Planes or what do you want to be your first five star? Okay, what I think is gonna be my first five star is probably those, uh, I don't know, chickens. It's gonna be like the pheasant on Nez Perce. My first five star was a pheasant. What do I want it to be? I actually don't want it to be Lions for Cape Buffalo. Like, Springbuck or... Like something that would be cool, but not the coolest thing. I want the coolest thing to be like, you know, a little bit of build up at least. How can I see if a server is modded? I joined the server and killed four albinos and one diamond. That sounds pretty unlikely to not be modded. Um, unfortunately, there's no like, you know, a button you press and find it out. It's down to, like, gauging it based on what you see. So typically, like, if I kill anything really special in multiplayer, if it's a diamond whitetail, a diamond whitetail, fine. If I kill a super rare whitetail, I'm probably going to go around to, like, every other lake, spot as many animals like as I can, and make sure there doesn't seem to be, like, an excess of max levels or rares or anything like that. Four albinos in one server is not something I'd expect to see, unless it's, like three of them being albino harlequin ducks or something. Some ducks are a little less rare. Put moosing on a hold? Mainly, I, I was just kind of looking, like, because I was going to do moose today, but I haven't really messed with Reventuli that much since we set that stuff up. And I got to looking, like, we haven't touched Emerald Coast other than, you know, the last uh, 39 minutes for, hello there, for uh, over two weeks. And the map's still pretty new, so, like, I don't want it to be a thing where we killed all the diamonds and never come back to this map again. So I wanted to get back on it, and so far it's producing some decent males. I saw somebody got a really huge pie ball diamond sandbar, by the way, like, 177? It was the biggest sandbar I've seen, and it was a pie ball. What's up, bro? Uh, nothing particularly special. Hello there. Oh. How did that not hit something? I've created a Rudolph. <laughs> Saints are working out hunt because of Chimera? They could play a relatively similar role. Hunt's getting on the older side, but he also, for the last, like, what, four years, has been sharing touches with Chubb, so he wouldn't have had as much wear and tear. Any tips for Bantang grinding? I haven't really grinded them much, but really, I imagine you can just run up this coast during your drink time and 
Blast away. Whoops, didn't realize we got that close. I feel like that was a little high being zero for 200. The odds that we can save that now are not great. Did he really pause right before that shot got there? Uh, Iron Moose, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate you, man. Doing good. How about you? Albino Croc Gold 814. Nice, man. I really want a rare gold croc. I haven't killed any rare crocs yet. I think I'm slacking. We could... I think that could be interesting, especially with the bow. We could go through... Like, down here. Croc should be out in full force. We might stumble into some Bantangs, too. Are you planning to do some Trophy Lodge tours? I don't tend to do... Like... Wait, do you mean my own lodge tours or like a community lodge tour? Actually, I forgot. I was supposed to do that after we got our diamond. No, I think I was saving it for after we get a diamond um, bobcat and a widgeon, which I thought was going to happen by now, but bobcats have been more of a pain than I would have expected. But that's my intention, is to like try to get to that point where we have all the diamonds in the game and then do a lodge tour. I was thinking I was going to do it after uh, we got our deer. Finally, Cystic Diamond, Ruth the score 504. Nice, man. Like what KC does? The reason I don't want to do that, for one, it'd be like kind of, you know, stepping on his toes, right? But I don't know how to go about it in a way that wouldn't incentivize, like, you know, hacking or cheating or whatever. Other than just joining a random lodge, which I think is what he does, right? He doesn't have... He does subscriber ones. But I think the random ones, like, he doesn't have someone send in a, like, submission or whatever. No, he just tells people, like, hey, we're on the PC lodges, open up your lodge and I'll go check it out. Because my thing is, like, I don't want to tour 12 hacked lodges because people want to be in the series. was your first diamond you killed? It was a musk deer, actually. I think it was 957 on the old system over on Medved. Shot a five-star Rocky Mountain Elk near the Plains biome, just south of Lodge, 499.94. Dude, it was that close to 500? I still can't get a max. I've had a couple of pretty close ones, but have not gotten a 500. Fishing Pro, thank you for the super chat, by the way. I killed a piebald alligator yesterday. Nice. They've got some really cool piebald variations. Do they have the most piebald variations of any species in the game? I'd say they do. That was a big one, dang. <laughs> Point three shy of being a diamond. All right, let's do what I said. Let's let's run through here, let a bunch of crocs attack, and see what happens. Shot two diamond bantang and a piebald fox in one day. Most stressful hunt I've ever had. That's pretty cool, like, the piebald fox especially. When you get a potential trophy fox, the... It's just like that chance of messing it up because it's such a small target to hit. The adrenaline definitely goes up trying to make that shot. Do you know that there's an animation for Western Caper Kaylee going aggressive and attacking lynxes? Yes, um, I've seen them attack lynx. I've seen... What's the other thing they attack? Oh, maybe it's lynx on Revan Tuli and Medved is what I'm thinking. No, wolves as well. Do you watch UFC? Um, I've watched like two UFC fights ever and it just so happened that someone else was watching them so I was just there. For a 5 star to be max score, does the Gen X have to be 100%? I think 99% plus. I'm not 100% sure of that. Maybe you can get like a, uh, you know, 98% that's 500. I don't know exactly how that works. I was doing the missions on Medved to get Albino Diamond Bear, and I spooked the injured reindeer, so how do I find her again? I mean, can you not track her? Does she not have tracks? I, I, I did those missions in like 2018. It's been a while. Jet Super Bowl winners this year. It's going to be so tough for anyone to get out of the AFC. Like, I don't have any confidence 
even in picking the Chiefs to win it. And that seems like the, you know, easy out pick. It's a fairly decent one. That's kind of what we're hoping to see, too. Like, ones in these spots that we don't hunt during Bantang Crink time. Cardinals win the Super Bowl? Oh, definitely. Colt McCoy is the best quarterback in the NFL. He's got this. I don't even know if he's going to be the one starting. I left the game after I spooked her and now I can't reset the mission. Uh, so, I have done that. I spooked... I don't even know if it was that. I'm pretty sure, like, I activated the Wear Coyote mission. And either, like, I wanted to record it later or maybe I spooked it. I don't know exactly what the deal was, but I did close the game and reopen. And it was back in the same place where I initially encountered it. Have you gone to the place where it was where you spooked it? Uh, Nevada Outdoors, thank you for the super chat. Got home this morning from Scouting Desert Bighorn. Okay, jealous of that. Uh, for one of our clients, and can't think of a better way to relax than watching your content. Well, that's awesome, man. I'm, I'm really, uh, really glad that you're stopping in, and frankly, you made me extremely jealous hearing that. I'd love to do a, a bighorn hunt. Especially, I think desert bighorn more so than, like, and I don't even know the proper term. Would it be, like, mountain bighorn? Whatever the non-desert ones are. I think something about the desert bighorn intrigues me more. King Henry and DeAndre Hopkins Titans doing better? I, so I'm, I don't do like any serious sports betting, but I like to, you know, a Sunday night football game, especially if I'm not hunting the next morning, I like to throw like five bucks on it and just, you know, it makes it a little more interesting. It makes your rooting interests more, uh, you know, you're more invested in it. It's, it's more fun to watch that way. It's also, it's less fun to watch that way when you lose money. So don't, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but it's something I've been doing. I was looking at, like, the odds for the AFC South, because I really think everybody's betting on the Jags. I think the Titans might just win the division outright. People forget, like, they're a pretty... How did, what happened there? That looked like it hit low. Anyway. They were the number one seed, what, two years ago? Okay, this is just deja vu. Oh, we're hitting the water, I see. And it's just stopping? All right, listen, you're not escaping. Oh, good. We got the female. Good news, guys. I has indeed returned. Did you win? Set the time back and the rain will return. Stays in the same general area. That's kind of what I was figuring, but... I know there have been some issues with people trying to do the medbed missions. Broncos AFC West champs? See... I'm inclined to just be like, nah, but teams in the AFC West are good. Like, you catch the, it's going to come down to divisional record and Mahomes doesn't really lose in the division, but maybe you catch the Chiefs in, at the right time, steal a game from them. If you can manage to go like five and one in division, that's probably your uh, AFC West chance right there. Listen, guy, I can't even. Just, just, just go die. We'll be fine. Did I win with the recording went good? Only cried towards the end? <laughs> well, good. Seahawks looking good? I am also intrigued by the Geno Smith situation. Oh, I was supposed to talk about this like an hour ago and I forgot. So, if you guys don't know, this is something that I have decided that I'm going to do this year. I'm going to make a third channel for one because I know... There's a pretty decent percentage of people that do not care about my NFL opinions whatsoever. So I'm not going to, you know, have notifications and stuff going on this channel or the clip channel. Because it's entirely different content. And I'll post that channel somewhere. But I'm going to do, like, weekly predictions for all 272 games this year. And just see what happens. See, like, what kind of record I can have. And in, in the background, there'll be, like, some Madden, a little bit of editing to, like... Basically, here's my thing. The reason that I'm doing it with Madden 
is I know that the NFL can be a little stingy with their copyright stuff. So if I were to use their logos and put them on screen over like a non-Madden video, I could totally see them just copyright striking or whatever. I'm pretty sure if I just use Madden, that's not a problem. So I'll just make like the game selection and team selection screen. I'll put that up when I'm saying like, hey, you know, week one, we're picking uh, Chiefs versus Lions. And then I'll just put Chiefs and Lions together in Madden. Put that on screen. I think it'll be a fun little way to uh, to do that. NFL New Flint Loda? Okay, hold on a minute. I need to... You just did a thing. <laughs> you did a thing and now I gotta make it show you a thing. I don't know where it is. I think I do. What did I name it though? So, something, oh god, hold on. Something approximating that is the logo I'm going for. And I just thought it was funny <laughs> that you actually, uh, basically, I know NFL wasn't hard to come up with, but it was, it's some acronym or something. I don't know if I'm actually going to make it an acronym or not. Would you rather run hogs in Texas or Florida? I don't know that I'd have a preference necessarily for where. Needs more 12, so I thought about adding some 12s to it, but I think at an actual logo size, it would just be convoluted. But probably will be 12s in the channel art. What's up, Elaine? Do you play other games uh, other than hunting and fishing, like Call of Duty? Well, I guess I'm going to play Madden this year for that stuff. Um, otherwise, not much anymore. Like, I used to. I used to play Rocket League. Um... I play Planet Zoo here and there and stuff, but there's nothing I play consistently anymore other than Call of the Wild Classic, Way the Hunter, and to some degree Call of the Wild the Angler. Hello. Jeez. Even the Sambar are attacking today. Small. Faint or Faints? Should that be the channel name? Uh, Jake, thank you for the super chat. I put a hundred bucks, I'm guessing that's what you mean, on Richardson to win MVP. Figured if anyone could do it, it would be the most athletic QB prospect ever. 10,000 to one, so I'd be a millionaire? See, I can't blame you for making that decision, because that's... I'm so bad at doing the opposite of that. Because I was looking at, like, Steelers win totals, right? And I think the over-under is... It's either eight and a half or nine and a half. And I was going to put five bucks on it, and I think if I put five bucks on it and win, I make three dollars. I need to, if I'm going to put $5 on something, it should at least be worthwhile. <laughs> Got two diamond crocs and two albino crocs in one day, and then two diamonds and one of the albinos were initial spawns. Not bad. I, I'm i fairly confident we've covered the croc area of the maps fairly thoroughly by now. I don't think we had any initial spawn rares. A thicken, huh? But where? Gray. Alright. If it ain't a rare, we'll worry about it some other time. The 12 NFL predictions of Flinter? Is that like the 12 days of Christmas? Are you gonna play Way the Hunter the day the update comes out? Yes, definitely. I'm unsure about exactly what's gonna happen that Friday. So that day is wedding rehearsal day for my brother's wedding and I do be part of that so I gotta be there um but I think that's at like three o'clock so my plan if they release it early in the day which I really hope they're gonna is to stream at, you know who knows 8 9 a.m. something like that get a couple hours of streaming in video later in the day and then be at rehearsal on time ideally <laughs> Will you ever do single player diamond challenge again? What was single? Oh, like Revan Dooley? I doubt it. Maybe a map that doesn't have so many species. Because what happened, like I enjoyed every moment of the Revan Dooley challenge. I really, really did. But it's at least partially responsible for us being, you know, 12 miles behind in terms of getting all the great ones. Are we only missing two, moose and bear? Maybe it's not as bad as I thought, but yeah, in, you know, instead of maybe getting all of our diamonds out of the way within a month and a half or two months, in 
away. We're still going trying to get Wigeon, but let's even just cross that off the list. It took us a year, and who knows how many hours could have been spent grinding for great ones. So, because Call of the Wild, no doubt, is going to continue to add great ones, I highly doubt they're slowing down with that. Probably we won't do a single player only challenge again. Maybe in some way, maybe for a specific species or something, or for a specific rare, but definitely not a whole get all the diamonds thing. So are you a Penn State or Pitt fan? Neither really. Like, I don't follow college much at all. I'll watch it if it's on. But if anything, I'm more of a UGA fan because Kyle and her family are, and like, I've watched more. I don't think I've watched Penn State. Oh, God, why? It's not even Twitch, leave me alone. I don't deserve this. Anyway, uh, yeah, I don't think I've watched Penn State or Pitt in like 10 years. Iowa? What an interesting... I need to know your reasoning for that. What a shot. Way the Hunter or Call of the Wild? It's tough to answer because I, I really like both. Like, they're both great games and they're so different I don't even know that they should be compared. I think Call of the Wild having like so many more maps and species, it for that reason it probably ends up being the better game, but Way the Hunter, like, as far as actually simulating real life hunting, it does that far better. Been saving forever for that? Oh, is that you? <laughs> it works really good when it's on YouTube, because sometimes on Twitch, it a lot of times it actually ends up scaring me more, because I'll see it pop up in the chat for just a half a second before it actually happens, and maybe that prepares me for it, but a lot of times, like, I'll see it, my brain goes, oh, hey, you need to, and then before I can get that thought process, it scares me anyway. Do you think they'll add something like a great one in Wade Hunter? I doubt it and frankly kind of hope they don't. As much as this revolutionized Call of the Wild and like really galvanized the Call of the Wild community, I think the negative side of great ones is it makes some of the other species less interesting. Like, you know, we're on Emerald Coast, I guess we could get a great one fallow here. But other than that, there's nothing here that could potentially produce a great one. And therefore, Emerald Coast doesn't get hunted that much. Or like, uh, what's a map that has zero great ones? Is there any? Verhunga. Verhunga is a good enough map on its own that it still holds up. But if I was streaming Verhunga today, there would probably be at least a couple people that are maybe less interested because there's no great ones there. And Verhunga is amazing. Like, it's... I think if Way the Hunter can help it, they're better off not doing that because it takes some of the focus off the rest of what is a great game. And the same for Call of the Wild too. Like, there's so much more than Great One Crowning in Call of the Wild that just kind of gets overlooked anymore. I don't know how you solve that. And I totally get why, like, Great Ones are the most popular thing. Like, they are amazing. That feeling of finding one is amazing. I just, I don't know, maybe if, maybe if they were achieved in a different way, maybe that's the solution. Great one kudu? I think that's the only way we're going to get greater kudu in Call of the Wild. Although I still don't understand, you guys remember like, that one live stream back in November of 22. It was right when they were, it was for the New England update. Jaxie was like, listing off all the backfield species and one was greater kudu. And like the whole chat exploded. And then, I don't know, a minute or two later, we find out like, oh no, that was a mistake. Like, but what? That's a weird mistake to make. Like there was some consideration of greater kudu, so we might still see it eventually. That's not like, oh, I misread Widgeon, which is the Africa backfield species actually. Something was there. How rare are blue Mexican bobcat? Um, pretty rare as far as I know. Being so close to West Virginia, have you ever had pepperoni rolls? Uh, I mean, not from West Virginia, but I've had them. Nice, Colton. Remember all the hype for Great One Red Deer and then no one talks about them? I guess it's the lack of like rack and fur combos, but yeah, literally 
they might be the least hunted for great one now. And they were by far the most hunted for. I know they were the second one. So there weren't a lot of options, but... For a period of time, I would imagine it was like 10 to 1 the amount of great one red deer posted versus whitetail. Why don't you play Hunting Sim 2 anymore? Frankly, I just can't get immersed in it enough. I, I tried to give it as much, like, of a chance as I could and tried to, you know, make content on it and maybe get people interested in it. Kind of through the lens of, like, a Hunting Sim 3 could be amazing. And my reasoning was, I think there's a lot of stuff they did right. The weapon system is great. I like the dog and the character models and the camo choices and stuff. That's all good. But they just needed better animal models. They it, they don't look nearly enough like animals for a game in... When did that come out? 2021? Like, classics models from 2009 are considerably better. Oh! That was so close to being perfect. Smoked him! Holy! That might have actually been... Something. No? I thought that was good. Great one. Whitetail and Red Deer need an update so they have more fur variations. It does... It does make them not kind of hold up against the new great ones, for sure. Head school, what I miss? A uh, whole lot of shoots, then uh, nothing really special so far. I'm thinking we're going to change the time again here. Because what I want to do, we're basically to the north end of this. I want to run this during Bantang drink time. And it's already 4 o'clock, so we got to get moving. The dogs were hideous? I thought they were okay. Like, I would argue the Bloodhound and Call of the Wild is hideous too, but you get used to it. The little beagles weren't great, but the, what even were they, labs? I didn't think they were too bad. Am I weird for just keeping my 100 cents constantly? I was watching Amazing Pizza stream the game here recently. He does that too. Um, or was doing that. I don't think you're crazy for it. It's probably an effective way to play because you don't miss anything. My issue with it is it gives me a headache. So, if it also gives you a headache and you're dealing with it and just playing that way anyway, I'd say you're crazy. But if it doesn't, then that seems like a good idea. The Call of the Wild ones need to rework? They do. What's up, Hockey Kid? Thank you for the Super Chat. How you doing today? Good, man. Hope you are as well. We are... Probably going to a place... Another place on Emerald Coast that we haven't really hunted yet. I actually prefer a normal fur if there is a crazy rack for great ones. I can see both sides of that, to be honest. Like... I do like Whitetail because it's just a common Whitetail with a crazy rack. When it comes to... Like, the realism side? You know, I, I would argue it was, it was a real-life great one killing a 180 in Pennsylvania. Like, that is a thing that can't happen. Am I gonna kill a 180 in Pennsylvania that's also, you know, leucistic? Probably not. I came up with leucistic, by the way, because I was thinking of Fables Bruce Moose, and my idea, the reason I've started to like that one more, is that it almost is like a leucistic variant. Level 5 Bean Tang, nice. What game are we talking about? Uh, like the models and stuff? And the dogs? That was Hunting Sim 2. They did Hunting Sim 1, so, well, duh. That was a stupid thing to say. Hunting Sim 2, so they also made a first one. Um, anyway. I was hoping they'd do a Hunting Sim 3, but it's I haven't heard anything about it. Random opinion, but I'm really hoping for trophy shots in Call of the Wild and Lodge customization. Having played, you know, even more classic lately than normal with the Summer Fiesta going on and the creator competitions and stuff, getting to do those trophy shots, when I then kill something in Call of the Wild that's like maybe special but not going to go in my main lodge or even Wade Hunter, you know, I kill a five star and I can take, you know, a picture but the animal's got its, you know, its head's in the ground and its antlers through the brush or whatever. I just, I so wish for trophy shots in every game. It, there's so many things that classic had. And classic trophy shots weren't in 2009 when the game came out. They were... Oh, I don't know. 2013? 2011, maybe? I don't know when they added the ability to have your character in them. 
Because there, there were trophy shots basically from the beginning, but it was just a picture of the dead animal laying there. When they made that ability to customize them, like, that was really when things changed. And, like, that's... I would argue as revolutionary. That's a big one. Because no other hunting game has been able to make anything like it. And it's so cool. I love trophy shots. They're one of my favorite things to do. Like, I spend a lot of time trying to make good trophy shots. I also spent a lot of time missing stubble quill, if you haven't noticed. You know, I didn't want to kill that anyway. I wanted to let it live. I wish Classic was on PS5. I know it's just not a possibility because the game's so old, it would take, you know, so many resources. It'd be such a huge undertaking to port the game over to console. And when it's 15 years old already, it's probably not worth it. But I still wish more people could experience it. It's such a great game. I say it all the time. I'm sure most of you guys have heard me say it. It's still the best hunting game ever made, in my opinion. And I actually don't know if it'll ever be topped. Do you know how many moose zones there are? Not a clue, unfortunately. A lot. What are you hoping for most with Way the Hunter Africa? If I'm understanding your question correctly, meaning like, not what do I want to kill most, but what do I want to see most with the update? Rares on release would be great, even if it's just, you know, maybe like we have of other species. I don't know, Cape Buffalo and Lions, that would seem to be the most logical too. Just something extra special to strive for. Speaking of rares, whenever Africa hype kind of wears off a little bit, we have a melanistic male moose on Aurora Shores to find, and then that albino red deer on Transylvania. Like, there's some really good way the hunter stuff to look forward to, and it's gonna be... It's gonna be interesting, because we're gonna get into real-life hunting season here. And it does get tough to make way the hunter content during real-life hunting season, because you just, you have to put time in if you want to... What? Is Mocha for a female Bantan common? I never pay any attention to them. Anyway, uh, you just gotta put time in to make decent content for that game. Got a whole bunch of deers. None of which look all that special. Come hunt Northeast Ohio? I mean... That wouldn't be a very far drive for me. That's definitely something that's on my list in general. Uncommon? Gotcha. Are any of you going to be aggressive? You are. Finally got my diamond white tail with a big pie bolt, then a massive mule deer diamond right after. Sounds like you were on a pretty hot streak there. Are my arrows going through things today? It feels that way. Live in Ohio, so I'm excited for deer season. When does, uh, when does Ohio season start? I actually have no idea. It's around ours, I think. Ours would be... Basically beginning of October, by the way. The pinkish is predator great one? What? Oh, uh... I shot a great one bear in a multiplayer server, but the icon is pinkish in color. Anyone know what the issue could be a modded map? Um... Do you have, like, a picture of it to put in Discord? I, I can actually maybe help you with this, too. Does it look like... Da, da, da. Where am I at? Good lord. Thick. Does it look like this? Because that's just the regular Great One Bear icon. They should increase the size of the trophy lodges in Way the Hunter. I, like, agree and I don't. Like, I haven't completely filled any of the lodges. I think... Bigger, like, buildings with more full-body platforms would be really good. I maybe don't need as many wall plaques, though I don't play the game as much, like, you know, if I played it as much as I play Call of the Wild, that would probably be a different story. Looks like that, yeah, you should, you should be good.
They need more mouse for female rares. Yeah, we killed that albino bison on stream. I was so hyped to kill that. And only to find out that you actually can't place a female bison anywhere on the Aurora Shores Lodge. Which is insane when you really think about it. Ooh, there we go. Decent fella. Decent stuck fella. Where are you going? Oh my god. <laughs> 12 out of 12 shooting. Am I just bad? What are you doing? Figure out your life, man. <laughs> then he dipped into the water and the arrow can't penetrate. Oh well. I want a fighting Bantang mount for my Melanus of Gold and Diamond I just got back to back. That could be interesting. I never really thought of like fighting Bantang as a, a mount, but we have it for Ibex and stuff. A deer, obviously. You don't get to live, sorry to say. Actually, you might get to live because I'm pretty sure we hit that tree. These guys know how to hide behind stuff. Can you kill great ones with rifles? Yeah, absolutely. I thought you were gone already. Does all agree there's a lot of multi-mounts we need? I always wonder, like, how much time and effort and stuff does it take to make the multi-mounts? It's probably a lot more than we probably think. Like, making all those poses and stuff and making stuff fit just right. But I do really wish, you know, there were a lot more. It would just, it would open up how unique everybody's trophy lodge could be just that much more. Pretty sure this was the area I had a piebald magpie goose. It's like a level two. I hear them. Or I hear some magpies. Don't know where, but I hear them. The trees are their shield, and they know exactly when the bullets are coming and exactly when to get behind that shield. Hello there. I wanted to <laughs> jump and shoot at the same time. I was doing so good at on the run shots and just completely forgot how to play the game, I think. What's going on, Austin? I'd rather get more customization for lodges than guns and tents. I think I'd be in agreement with that. More guns is always good, too. It does... At least for me, it gets stale to like, you know, every hunt. All right, I got the 300, I got the 308, I got the 243 pistol and the 22. Like, I like to use different stuff. So maybe a new gun here and there wouldn't hurt. Those mangrove roots are just made of moose hide bulletproof? Yeah, no kidding. The way both of those recent additions to the game, moose being bulletproof in these mangroves. Uh, Nevada Outdoors, thank you for the super chat once again, really appreciate that. Girlfriend and I are needing to plan our out-of-country hunts this year, and it's between Australia or Spain. What would you take leaning towards Spain? Okay, so I don't know a ton about hunting in Australia, to be fair, but there's actually some great hunting in Spain. Like, especially if Ibex would be on your list. I think that could be pretty sweet. I've seen... We were at the ATA show in Indianapolis this past year, and one of the, like, whatever, booths or something, was, I think, some guys that did, like, guides. And the Ibex they had, all the different options and stuff, archery hunting was, I, I don't know if that was their specialty, but it was something they definitely did a lot of. It looked pretty cool. How can I actually enjoy myself on Transylvania? Okay, so here's what it took for me. This is going to sound stupid. Prepare yourself to, you know, have to move slowly. 
Take your time with it. And I, I think you just have to set up or, or expect failure to a degree. When I say expect failure, I mean you're going to spook stuff. You just are. And that's okay. You find their zones and you come back, you know, at a later time and check on that spot again. I've slowly reached a point now where, like, I know where a good few, like, potential quality animals are. Like, I've got, I think, at least two potential five-star red deer. I've got a potential five-star mouflon. I've got our albino red deer now. A couple of fallow deer I'm watching. And, like, you only need maybe two or three things to keep you halfway interested. And then you go around and hunt other areas as you wait for those things to age. And you learn more and more about the map. And I'm getting to the point with Transylvania that I know it well enough that I'm going to find, you know, a good number of animals as I hunt along and I try to find new stuff like that five-star fallow that showed up at the end of the last video. 100% Ibex and Mouflon. Oh, Mouflon are amazing too. If there's a sheep species outside of Marco Polos that aren't in the U.S. that I want to hunt, it's Mouflon. There's probably some in like Texas, but Game Ranch, Mouflon are not the same to me. Uh, Transylvania is my favorite map. I honestly don't get the negativity towards it. It's it's the same. And like, before I go into the criticisms of it, I also had these criticisms of it until I learned to like it. So let me be clear that I'm not standing on a soapbox here and preaching to the choir. I, or no, preaching to the choirs. Anyway, uh, it's because it's not as open. It's because you do have to hunt slower. You probably do spook more animals. It just comes down to like, you have to be more patient and for the most part, playing any video game, the expectation is not that you're going to need to be patient, but when you learn to do it and like, you know, you start to familiarize yourself with that map, it's great. It really is. Mouflon and hungry? Why do Mouflon make you hungry? Do you think the quality of the missions in the new maps has dropped significantly? 100%. I don't think the missions on any new maps have even been good since... Quattro? There's too much emphasis on telling a story and too little emphasis on, like, actually, you know, achieving anything. I love missions that are like, hey, kill three gold... What's something that doesn't even make a little lot? Kill three gold red fox. Alright, that might take me an hour and a half, two hours to do. But when I've done it, I'm like, really pleased. Like, Alright, got a mission done. I made 5,000 credits. Maybe I progress towards a mission with a diamond in it or something, right? What I don't like are missions that say, run over here and collect this item. After you've done that, run to the other side of the map and collect this item. Then when you go over here, unlock this outpost for me. Like, it's just... What is the point of them? I don't get it. I'm not trying to, like, speak negatively about the story writers either, but it's a lot of, like, unending voice lines. Like, I could not stand... Was it Rancho was the last missions I streamed? I was getting so tired of, like, every two words I would say, I'd get cut off by another voice line. I haven't streamed missions in a long time, because they, they just aren't good anymore, which is a bummer. Latest super rare? Didn't we get one not very long ago? Or is it still the Pieball Diamond Gray Fox? No, we got... Maybe it's the great one I'm thinking of. I forget. I think it's the Pieball Diamond Gray Fox. If I killed one more recently, I forget what it is already. Revs were stupid. Uh, honestly, like, Silver Age Peaks were pretty stupid. Um, what else? What are the ones I've done? Like, Rancho, like I said, wasn't very good. Taylor Roa wasn't good. Like, it, they just don't require you to shoot animals anymore. I don't know why. Australia has the worst missions. I watched your video on the mill. I didn't didn't even mess with them. But I just, I, I don't know who wants to play a hunting game and have people have a conversation in the rears for the entire time. I just don't quite understand that. If there's people out there that enjoy them, like, absolutely more power to you, but 
I'm, I'm missing something if that's if that was supposed to be enjoyable. Why is it only females that go aggressive? Can I hit fire from prone? I might need a perk for that. All right, I can. I don't know why it ran away, but we'll try that on a meal. God forbid you shoot animals in a hunting game. I know, you'd think like. We're here to take pictures. I was playing classic with a friend one time. We were hosting multiplayer and somebody joined and I don't know, I, I think it was probably a language barrier thing, but the way they asked the question like, can I shoot animals here? And my friend's response was no, we only take pictures. And they said, okay, and just hunted around and like didn't shoot anything. I felt kind of bad. <laughs> I do want to know if he was going around taking photos or not. Expectations for new Africa map storyline. So Nez, or I, I actually Transylvania has a story right now. I don't. I haven't even played that. Nez Perce was kind of like the family thing, and a lot of. I think attempted education on ethical hunting, which I thought was cool. Aurora Shores had that ethical hunting undertone too. I imagine, oh, you know what I think it'll be? I think it'll be a combination of like the negatives of poaching and also probably some stuff about like how, you know, hunting in Africa is not the huge negative that people chalk it up to be. That's my guess. I figured out how to do running shots again. I didn't change anything, I just stopped being bad. From what I could tell in the bit of Mel's video I watched, because I ain't gonna lie, I got sick and tired of listening to them and stopped watching, but that was the impression I got too. Is that just the light variant? Yeah. Nothing crazy. You know what's weird? There weren't any Bantang up here. I kind of thought there would be. So where, be a big hog deer if that was a hog deer, where else do we need to go? Is it down here? There's a place that typically has them like at a lake and we didn't find that today? I thought it was here though. Yeah, it is here. Huh. Well, what do we got, 40 minutes? I know there's some, let's check this area. Nest purse with ethical hunting, Aurora was gun safety in Africa, I think it'll be animal conservation. Could be. Could very well be. Sales amazing right now, I got a map for two dollars, nice. What colorations are you trying for on Crocs? I don't know necessarily that there's a specific one I want. Any rare would be great. Albino I guess is my favorite, but like light brown is really cool. The Pieball and Leucistic. Actually, in light brown are all pretty close. At least from what I can tell. But, yeah, Albino or Mellow would be probably the dream. When does Africa and Wave Hunter release? This Friday. Just days away. I hear geese is flying at night. Right in the box. Got another female sandbar. I'm not seeing Bantang. So when I play multiplayer, almost every time I come down here, I see some crocs spook Bantang up and I thought maybe they'd drink here. Yeah, I can help you, Mel. Big plus the hunting in Spain is gonna be the, is it Basque? Maybe Basque if that's a Spanish word food? I don't even know if I know what that is, but any sort of unique cuisine sounds like a good thing to me. Alright, I give up on this spot. We're gonna go where I know there's Bantang. How about that? Technical god, as I need Big to come here and save me with computers all the time. Can you play Whale Hunter today? We're gonna stick with Call of the Wild today. There will be a whole lot of Whale the Hunter coming this week, starting Wednesday. Low-key, I keep feeling this map has red deer till I see a random six in the distance. 
you have uh, maybe you do have an idea if you have this experience too but uh for me it's almost once per hunt i be running around i see a level five red deer and it's like oh my god that's the biggest hog deer i've ever seen or something like that every time Bantanger, easiest to hunt during your feed time? I don't know if I'd agree with that. I mean, it depends on if you want to hunt at night or not, but I I find and kill way more during their drink time. East border of Spain and French. Fran France? My brain could not read that as anything but French. I don't know why. Is it ever too much for you to upload daily? One upload a day... Typically not. I mean, like, during hunting season, there are some days where it's like, okay, either I need to come up with a really quick video or just not hunt tomorrow. Because, you know, maybe, let's say, it's in the rut, right? No, it's November 3rd, my favorite day to hunt all day. So let's say I hunt all day. I haven't recorded the next day's video yet. I get home. It's 8.30. I got to be up again at 5.00. You know, either I can record a video that's going to take 45 minutes, like some kind of quick challenge or something like that, or I'm just going to have to skip hunting the next day. Because until I'm done recording and editing that, it's going to be 3 a.m. That stuff can get to be a little tough, but other than that, no. Now, my plan with Way the Hunter Early Access is to do two videos a day. That can be a bit much. Your albino way the hunter short was awesome. Thank you, man. I have every intention of doing a similar one with this red deer. I know right the red deer level fives look like all the new deer species they do, because like it's that perfect frame that Sambar, Rusa, and Hog Deer all have. That was like a smoke shot, like through the We never had spinal cord somehow. Okay, don't know what that was. Just kind of everything and it was already pretty badly... Oh, wait, no. There's a neck bone in that shot, but it's not saying it. Huh. That level 6 we shot looked a little off to me, so I definitely want to find that. Should I do Yukon Valley missions? Those ones are pretty decent. I, I would do those. I don't know that it makes you kill a lot of stuff, but there's some really cool story and stuff behind it. What are some of the new calibers like 28 Nozzler and 224 Valkyrie will be introduced into games? Maybe. I think games typically go for like, you know, popular and widespread hunting calibers first at least. Because, you know, the people who are in that scene, they know what those calibers are. But someone who's probably more like me, like, yeah, I do a lot of hunting. But I, I'm not, like, I'm not someone who knows all the newest stuff that comes out in, term, in like, the gun world. It'll eventually trickle down to me. But, you know, I'm, I'm more, what I've always said, like, Bow hunting is a better example of this. There's all kinds of technical stuff when it comes to bow hunting. You've got like FOC, which I now know stands for front of center, and like basically how your how much weight is front of your center point of the arrow, and that affects everything from velocity to energy transfer and all that good stuff. I didn't used to understand any of that stuff. All I knew was like if I draw back and I shoot, I can hit the target and therefore I can kill a deer. Like I didn't understand that side of things. And I think there's probably more people on that end of the spectrum than to, like, know all the new stuff coming out in the gun world. So, you know, a 224 Valkyrie comes out in Call of the Wild, and a lot of people are like, I've never even heard of that. I think that's what they want to avoid. How do you start the missions on Transylvania? I actually don't know, but I'm, like, sure they have missions now. I haven't done them, so I, I unfortunately I can't answer that. Spook to level 3 Caper Kaylee and it won't come back to its zone. I don't know if they typically do come back to their zone. Do you have its zone? Because if so, I would just change the time. 
to like the beginning of its zone and come back. Okay, we got a four. Three. And a fox. And two aggressive female crocs. Okay, that works. We completely missed. I want one of these guys to turn and not run. That worked real well. I'm going to say those weren't good shots, but he'll probably die. Just shot my first rare away the hunter. Female albino wood bison. Nice, man. If you haven't... I would probably still taxonomize it if I were you, but just so you know, you actually can't place a female bison in the lodge, which is a huge shame. Do you have to unlock land in Alaska Way the Hunter? The, like, southeast part of the map, that rainforest area, that you have to unlock, the rest is all public. And actually, it's like four missions. It does not take long. You can buy the pass for 4,500 credits, or just, like I said, do a couple missions and you got it. Power just went out for a few minutes. Ooh, boy. I'm hoping we can avoid having that happen. Is there a new Africa map coming soon? There is in Way the Hunter. Best traction in farming sim? Oh, boy, I am not the person to ask for that. Having trouble with hunting magpie with my shotgun. They're landing down too far from me and I can't tell why. So I'm far from like good at magpie hunting or waterfowl hunting in general in Call of the Wild, but I'll try to illustrate kind of how birds land in this game. So essentially, if you have your decoy set, like right here, they're probably gonna land about 40 meters downwind of the decoys and they're gonna land into the wind. So They'll come, like, from the moon towards us and land, you know, about 40 meters from where we're standing. Again, in this example, our decoys are right here. So what you would probably want to do, leave your decoys there, set up your blind or tripod, whatever you're sitting in, downwind of those decoys around 40 meters if you can, and they should try to land more so right on where you're at, rather than, you know, potentially 50, 60 meters from you. How many animals have you killed in this stream or, like, ever? In this stream, it's probably like 50 ever 63,300. I hear the Bantangs, but I can't see the... Oh, I see one Bantang. Got a piebald red deer and diamond axis deer sharing the same zone. Not bad. That's always cool, like, especially when it's multiple species. Several trophies, like, in one spot. Biggest one we shot today. Oh, that's going to work well. Let's get ourselves positioned here. Might be a chance for a bow shot on the run. Running with my brother shot a tree with his lever action and he scared all the deer and he didn't even mean to shoot. Oh. That's usually... Uh, misfires and accidental fires are usually not... Not something you want to have happen. At least he hit a tree. Where do those... Bean tangs get to. Oh. You have a male with you? Surely there's one. I saw that level three. He kind of ran another direction, but. Is there really not? Alright then. Do you ever hunt PA public? Um, it's not something I've done other than like for when we went rabbit hunting. Not something I've done, I don't think ever for deer. Small game hunting, yes. For deer hunting, I mean, I guess I could, but we've had the fortune of like, you know, dad having land and I own a tiny bit of land here. So just that's simpler for us. If you could add a new map, what would it be? If I got to choose, it would be Greenland with like muskox, 
Caribou but have their true racks redone because they could definitely be way better. Probably like Arctic Fox, Arctic Wolves, Snowshoe Hare, Tarmigan of some kind. I think it could be cool. Okay, why do we have just the biggest males of all time? Oh my lord. What is happening here? No, stay away from me. I don't want this. I don't know where that two's at. I think he's hiding back there. That was fun. Yes. That is definitely what I meant to do. Calling in the elusive Australian moose. What's the next great one you want to see? I still think Mule Deer Great Ones would be amazing. Well, there's a level 3 male, but it's kind of got by us already. Still a male down this way. Oh, that's the two. He waited on us. How nice. What's up, Blake? I'm doing good. How about you? Not you. Definitely meant to do that. Totally tried to shoot him in the heart. What new weapons do you think Wade Hunter should add with Cape Buffalo and Lions charging? That's a good question. I didn't think of like a defense weapon so much. Like I, I've been thinking a lot about archery hunting and maybe like a 416 or something for Cape Buffalo like that are not charging, but actually a 416 would be a decent defense rifle, I think. A 416 or maybe like a 375 H&H. &H. 416 being double barrel would be sensible. Did you shot a diamond bantang stole it from you? I knew it. I knew we were missing a diamond out here. Greenland needs throwing axes? Wait, why? Do you think because cape and lions charge, they're going to change it so the bears charge? I believe they said they are. I'm almost sure I read that. Class 1 to 4 throwing hatches. Surprise there's no camels? I think camels would have been a decent idea. I don't like how our arrows seem to like hit and then disappear. Favor gun in Call of the Wild? I feel like I go back and forth on this a lot. I probably would say the 7 mil bolt action. Though I will say we've used a whole lot of the 308 lately, like Ground and Fallow Deer. 60, 100 kills worth of using the 308, in fact. Honey Badgers will also charge. I wonder how they're going to treat that. That could be really interesting. Love to see a Scotland slash Ireland map, something that's never been done. I think it could be good, I really do. Like, a proper challenge. You know what else would be amazing, though? And I think we're probably too far into Call of the Wild's existence for, for this to happen. But I would love it if, you know, Red Deer in Ireland had a different diamond requirement, and therefore a different size, than Red Deer in New Zealand, and also versus Red Deer in Germany, etc. And you could do that with Whitetail too, like, realistically Whitetail in Rancho should not be nearly as big as Whitetail on Layton, and I think that would be the case about Whitetail and Raven They should actually be, from what I know of Whitetail in Finland, not only different, they should have more bladed tines than rounded tines. That's getting pretty specific, but, like, I, I think it would be so cool to have, you know, a Whitetail that on Layton Lakes Sure, diamond at 270. On Rancho, diamond should be 220. And frankly, they should look different than they do. But, you know, asking a lot at that point. You'd like to see more mass and less, you know, spindly 16 points, basically. 
Oh, no wonder I'm hitting high. Zero was wrong. Whoops. Imagine a f albino five-star K buffalo. I might like casually scream a little bit if I saw that. Got a high gold albino croc yesterday. Nice. I really want one rare croc. I was hoping in our quest for some bean tangs today we'd find a rare croc, but no such luck so far. Lee's favorite map in Call of the Wild, New England, which is great that we've been there so much hunting bobcats. Although it's been very kind to us. We have shot some pretty sweet rares there in the last week and two days or something. Just casually though, not excitedly. Depends. It depends if it's like expected or not. Like if you have a four star albino cape that's like, I think he's gonna make it, it's a different feeling for sure when you spot him and he is a five. Do you think Classic will ever make Africa? I'm not sure we'll see another map in Classic ever. It'd be nice, but the last map to be out of the Classic was Pikmin Bay. And that was probably four or five years ago now. It's been a while. If you could only use one gun in real life for the rest of your life, what would it be? Is this only for hunting purposes? Because it changes if, like, I have to include, you know, potentially, you know, self-defense or whatever. For hunting, it would be my Weatherby Vanguard 7 mm 8 That thing has been nothing short of incredible. Hunting and self-defense. See, I'd probably go with, like, a 12-gauge then. Because you could do slugs, you could put a scope on it for hunting and I could still lean it against the bedroom door or whatever. <laughs> Did you know Croc could get leucistic? Yes. It's like when you have a big buck on your property that you know is getting bigger versus a giant buck you've never seen that just waltzes out in front of you. Yeah, kind of. It's a, di it's a different reaction. Not saying one is even superior. Like, when you see said giant buck that you've been watching, and he comes out, it's really intense. But there is an added layer of something when it's like, who is that? Like, what is that giant deer? Have you seen much of the 28 Nosler? I can't say I have. Do you feel like you run slower in Call of the Wild? Like, compared to other people? If you're by chance talking about that, it's because of my FOV. How do you change that? There it is. So if you increase the FOV all the way out, it kind of gives the illusion that you're running way faster. It's just how wide it is. But this gives me a huge headache, so I just play it default. We're almost out of arrows. My dad is a semi-auto bullpup 12 gauge shotgun. There you go. Kind of sad knowing New England is like the worst map when it's map based in my home state. I get you. Like it's the closest thing to my home state too. It. Okay. It probably wouldn't be the worst map. If. Layton and Mississippi and Rancho, like, if we didn't have all these North American maps already, I think it could have been really good. But the problem was, it didn't really offer anything new. And it didn't improve the hunting for any of the already existing species. Do crocodiles ignore hunting pressure? More or less. I mean, you can delete their zones, but where are they going to rest, right? They, they, don't, they don't rest inland. They're going to be on the coast. That must be it, because on console I feel like I run so fast. Is... I actually don't know what console FOV is set to. I've never paid attention. Personally, love New England and Mississippi's your least favorite? I would have actually said Mississippi is even worse than New England. The only thing now is because of the changes to alligators, they're enjoyable to hunt. 
I really dislike Mississippi and I regret buying it. I get you. But it was that thing too. Like alligators were new. It was big hype to have something like that in Call of the Wild. When Mississippi came out, I think everybody was extremely excited. I remember we had early access for Mississippi. It was in hunting season. And what I ended up doing was I basically had no videos for a week and we just streamed Mississippi every night. As soon as I got home from deer hunting, we streamed for two, three, three and a half hours, whatever. Hunt gators and deer and pigs and whatever else. Quail, <laughs> as much fun as they are. And then go to bed, wake up, go hunt and do that again. And like it was a, a lot of people in those streams. People were extremely excited for the map. But I think when you only really have one super new thing in the gators, it's tough to make a map like compelling. Can't even see the gators? That's true, that's annoying. Like, not being able to spot them is extremely frustrating. So if I set up a croc grind, I could delete all the zones and they come back? Yes. What do you want for the next rares and weight hunter? Okay, let's take Africa out of the equation, because I said earlier that I'm hoping maybe a species or two has rares on release in Africa. So for existing stuff... I mean, swapping albino and mellow for mule deer and whitetail would be cool. So, mellow, whitetail, albino, mule deer. Other than that, though, I think Rocky Mountain Elk. And let's do albino for that. Because they usually do a pair, albino and mellow. So, Rocky Mountain Elk, albino, and... Hmm. Mountain goats? Bighorn? One of them two. For the mellows. Give me a rare fallow or caribou. I do want... See, that, that was kind of my problem. I don't know if I can choose two separate maps. If I can do that, then give me like, yeah, fallow and elk. I do want a rare caribou as well. I think I see why we're running out of arrows now. That's effective. All right, uh, we'll jump up and around. Maybe make a Bantang drink time again, just so we can maybe find some more. So we should have a little daylight hunting for the end. Is there any way to get? Is there any way to get animals to respawn quickly, or do you have to wait it out naturally? It is pretty quick. If you mean like get them into their zones more quickly or whatever, uh, you can like switch maps. You can close the game. You can, I think, just exit to the menu and go menu. Main menu, or main you if you want to shorten that word, and just jump back in. All those things seem to pretty much get your respawns in their spots, more or less immediately. Ow. Gotta buy more arrows. When will they do pie balls? I was actually thinking that maybe when we find that... Find? I think I need to go back to bed. I can't even talk. When we found that melanistic moose on Aurora Shores Friday... That is something I feel like we need in Way the Hunter as well. Piebalds, and if the, I mean Way the Hunter being Way the Hunter, they're so good at like, you know, th they make things immersive. They don't shortcut things. I wouldn't be surprised if they came up with a way to do something like true piebalds, right? Semi random variations of the white versus common fur. That would be insane. First animal you really want to shoot in Tickamoon Plains? I mean, lion with a bow. I don't, I don't know how it could not be that. Cape Buffalo with a bow would be pretty sweet as well, but my theory is lions will be callable. So, call one in, get it to 20 yards, 20 meters, whatever, and maybe it goes aggressive. That's a thing now, Wade Hunter. Maybe that's, maybe that's something we'll see. Like, imagine a piebald white zone white hunter, it'd be pretty amazing. When are you gonna go... like, moose crowning again? Probably after... hello there, that's a pretty good one. Probably after Ticket Moon Plane stuff kinda winds down, I'll get back to it. I was gonna do it today. 
But for one, like, we hadn't touched Emerald Coast in so long, I kind of felt like we needed to get back here. The other side of it generally was, though, this whole week basically is going to be about Ticket Moon Plains. I didn't want to do one more Moose Great One grinding thing and then, like, not touch it for a while. Mostly because, like, what it would... Let's say we went to Reventuli and killed four Diamond Moose. Like, something crazy, right? Probably not going to happen, but it could happen. If that happened and then... I was on way to 100 for two weeks, or a week and a half, whatever. The whole time I'd be thinking like, I should go and grind moose again. And maybe I'd cut it short, which I don't want to do. Ah, I thought he was bigger than that, 95? I thought he was 100 plus. Bet the fur would be so fluffy, it probably would be. What about kudu? Kudu are definitely one that I want to hunt as well. I love way to 100, but I feel like private properties make trophies not as cool. I'm in Diamond Drone, I just stumbled across two 5-star Whitetail, no managing at all. Yeah, um, so there's two sides of that coin with Transylvania and, uh, Nez Perce. The maps are so big, and there's so much public land, that you can, like, I think, you can... Check all the spots that you have, like all the, let's say those white tail that you just found were four stars. You can get back, check on those, explore other areas, check on other herds, and do that for like two hours and you don't run out of spots. Aurora Shores, I find that map being smaller. I check my main like six, eight spots in like 45 minutes, and then I'm like, okay, what do I do now? You know what I mean? So... I think the addition of private property on a map that's so big does make a little sense, but I would rather it was all public. Like, knowing how to play the game pretty decently well now, I'd rather that they didn't have the private lane, but I really enjoyed it when I was newer to the game. So I get it, like, I totally get why they would do it. Gotta go work and stuff. Till next time, sounds good, man. Appreciate you hanging out. Hopefully your shift at work goes quickly and smoothly. Got most of my five-star whitetail muley from public lane. I only have one. It's a mule deer that I got, a five-star on public. And it's by far my favorite five-star. I'm so darn proud of that thing. Actually, no, I have a five-star whitetail too. From public. Dude probably thought the croc did that. I guess we didn't get him very good. Still no. I think that might have gotten him, but at this point. What should I hunt in Emerald Coast? Uh, I mean, crocs and bantang's a lot of fun. We've killed a ton today. Oh, no worries, Robbie. Glad you're enjoying it. That was a that was one that Kyla found. Uh, can Diamond Red Deer get bigger than Great One Red Deer? Yeah, no. Yes and no. <laughs> the biggest Great One Red Deer are bigger than Diamonds will ever get. You can get Great One Red Deer like around 280. Diamonds will never be bigger than about like 271. But you can also get Great One Red Deer in the 240s. The smallest Diamond Red Deer is 251. So you see what I'm saying? Like, it's actually on both sides of the spectrum, but there are bigger great ones than diamonds that diamonds can never achieve. Are diamond kangaroo difficult? Depends. Uh, there's lots of, leg lots of legendary kangaroos out there. They're not hard to find at all, but a lot of them troll. If you happen to be lucky and, like, you know, your first level 9 makes diamond, then not really. I know of some people that shot like six or seven trolls till they got a diamond. I think counting early access, I had maybe five trolls till I got a diamond. I don't even see the tracks from that band tank. It's not that important. The designated montage DJ. The DM DJ. That could be a name. Do you have a rare croc yet? I do not. Do you prefer the old 7 mil where it flew out of your hands or the new animation? No, the old one was great. Like, the bullet would come flying to the screen as well. 
You know what? I realized something. You guys remember that 357 challenge video we did like a week and a half ago? The reload animation. The character doesn't like manually move the cylinder. It just happens. I wish I had a tent on me. I'd just grab it and show you. We are basically at the end of the spot that I wanted to get to. Let's go down to this lake and I'll grab the 357 so I can show you what I'm talking about. The old animation was correct. The current one is not. I don't know why they changed it. 15 to 16 Rusa trolls? I think I got my diamond after 12 or 13. It's just... They troll a lot. Just killed a level 8 croc that was 13 points bigger than the level 9? That's insane. That's a huge difference. Okay, let's ditch this. Gonna grab the... I'm screwing up my loadouts by doing stuff like this, but that's okay. 357. Where are you? There you are. And bullets. And maybe we get a couple extra bantang when we go down there. So, you shall see when we reload this 357. The character doesn't move the cylinder at all. It just moves itself. So just, uh... Watch the cylinder just move. He's not moving it. The old animation, he did move it. Now, I guess you could say he's doing it with his right pointer finger, but the hand's not moving, so I don't... I don't buy that. Magic? Maybe it's magic. Makes more sense than anything else I've come up with. Are there more animals on Red Dead 2 than here? More animals across the entire game than the entire game of Call of the Wild. It's probably close. Call of the Wild's got like 90 species. I think Red Dead has 200 some, but a lot of them are birds and chipmunks and stuff. Telekinesis hunters nowadays? Yeah, back in my day, you had to track him down. What's up, BC? Even animals on other maps troll more now? I really do think... That it's a... Uh, smell like pudding. Thank you. Like a, a response almost to herd management becoming as like popular as it is. Because the amount of diamonds you can get from that is undeniable. And my perception is they wanted to make it so that you could herd manage these species and it wouldn't completely, you know, ruin the amount of diamonds you're finding. He simply transcended reality. Simple. Secretly a Jedi using the Force to reload? I feel like he wouldn't need to use the gun at that point. Do you know about the new update for Red Dead on August 17th? I do not. When was Prime Call of the Wild? I would say 2020. It's still doing extremely well. Like It's probably still in its prime, but probably most games that were even semi-established. Their prime was probably during COVID because everybody was home. Just thought of pistols and Wade Hunter? Yeah, I, I'm i kind of of the opinion that we're going to need them. We're reaching a point, you know, with the addition of bows, the addition of charging animals, that, you know, is two weapons enough? Let's say you want to carry... You want to carry the 300 for Kate Buffalo, right? And you want... You want a bow, I guess. What do you shoot a Springbuck with? The 300? I, I mean, I guess you can call it in and shoot with a bow. So maybe the solution is to add a third weapon slot, even if it's just a handgun. Like, if I could shoot a Springbuck with a 357, that probably makes a little more sense than blasting it with a 300, you know? No Bantang here. We've even got a zone, though. I don't know where... Or we had a zone. Yeah. I don't know why they're not around. That fallow deer died, but I don't think we're going to track that down. Is there anything else we could smoke real quick? Not so much. I'm sure we can go get a sandbar. Well. Sorry to hear about your 338 luck there, buddy, but... I have a feeling things are going to go poorly for you. 
If you keep running that way, they might not. Oh, <laughs> that was pretty sweet. We shot directly between those two trees, and I think we shot him in the back of the head. That's a good way to end. I like that. You use the UTV Don. I don't tend to do that, but that is a pretty effective way to do it. Red Dead, Red Dead Undead? I'm not, I'm not familiar with that. If I got a great one, I'd run down and back by quarter mile of driveway. You really gotta get that adrenaline going before you shoot. Do you have a video on how to herd manage deer on Way the Hunter? I don't, I need to make one. And frankly, with Africa coming out, it might get tougher. Because I think it's way easier to manage animals with horns, sorry, with antlers than horns, but maybe it'll be easier to see. We'll just have to take a look. Because uneven antlers, for the most part, are a good sign of, like, poor genetics. Uneven horns are hard to identify sometimes. Like, big horn, you can tell. Mountain goat, maybe. You know, mouflon, sometimes. It's just tough. Absolutely smoked. Not a bad way to end. Okay. So no diamond or rare bantang or crocs, as we have a bantang going over here. Guess we'll take a quick look at that. Any luck with Widgeon or Bobcats? None yet. Our single player Bobcat hunt, we got that melanistic. So in doing so, we found, it seems like a bunch of the missing zones and hopefully that's gonna help us out. We just can't seem to find that level nine. I, like, I'm fully certain Diamond Bobcat aren't that rare. But we just can't, can't seem to get that luck. Widgeon, I've found a way that I think is going to work. Hunting for Hunga Multiplayer at a particular lake and just, I'll sit there for 45 minutes or an hour, kill all the birds that come in and then maybe change to another server after a while. It's just going to take time. Have you seen the new Ticket Moon Plane Steam images? Yeah, I was going to do a video on that, but early access is in two days anyway, so I'll probably just wait until we jump into the the map and get to see it for ourselves. Anyway. One final bonus kill, the biggest male of all. I really... Maybe we hit the back here? I was aiming for the back of the head. I think that's what happened. Still too far back. But got a long shot and it got our silver. Anyway. Really leans into your theory of some players have trash spawns for certain species? It really does. Like it 100% makes me feel that that's what's going on. Maybe next time. I don't know. Um, because Take a Moon Plains is coming out, I've got a classic video coming tomorrow. Actually, I'm hunting for Mel's competition. It is the highest scoring fallow deer sh shot from under 30 meters with a shotgun over in the Hunter Classic. Obviously, if you win that, you get the 30 out of 6 Stutzen Mel's variation, which is a really cool design if you guys haven't checked that out. That'll be tomorrow's video. Wednesday is Way to Hunter Early Access, and I imagine we're going to be spending like a week on that. So whenever that's all over with or, you know, the hype dies down, we'll get back into Call of the Wild, and I'm really going to try to get after Bobcats. I want to get those diamonds before hunting season starts, because then it's a little easier to do content like not feeling like, ah, I better go hunt for Hunger and look for a stupid widgeon again. So we shall see. Anyway, that's going to do it for this stream. As always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for the support today. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you in said tomorrow's video in Hunter Classic, Hunt and Foul Deer. Bye.